Well, we said at the start of this match it could go all the way. Then it looked as if Judd was going to walk away with it. Leading 7-3. John comes storming back as he did in the three previous frames. Won them with one visit to get himself ahead. And then Judd, under the circumstances, was kept in his seat for three frames. And to come out and just do what he's done was quite incredible. And it's deserved of a final frame. Yeah, Dennis, do you know John Higgins was so unlucky when he potted that red to shift the red off the cushion that the cue ball stuck. If he gets a release from the cue ball, who knows? He could have been shaking hands and doing his press conference now. Yeah, he took the risk. You called the shot to move the other red, and he, uh, he moved it, but the white stuck on the cushion, and he could only roll the blue in, and there was every chance he was going to be snookered by the green, and that's exactly what happened. When we saw the lineup for the quarterfinals, we expected, I would have thought, two or three close finishes. We haven't had one. This has been the one that's lit up the crucible. nobody leaving now but the shot that Judd played on the black to get on the yellow is one of the finest shots I've seen under pressure for quite some time just fantastic this is the shot now look at this it's a tough black but look what he does with the cue ball he finds the gap around and that's exactly how he played it and that you'd have to say under the circumstances was one of the best shots in this year's championship thank you whoever wins this deservedly goes favorite for the title but I think they play the one o'clock don't they the winner of this match is yep. tough at the top isn't it straight back in the straight back in the deep end forever wins this whereas Barry Hawkins has had a day off nearly hasn't he uh, listen you'd rather be here at one yeah. o'clock than driving down the motorway or up the motorway and there's the shake hands thank you the deciding frame John Higgins to break. Thank you. Thank you. John Higgins breaks off That's... in the deciding frame. Good luck to both players and both sets of fans. It was great to see the smile between the players as they shook hands, which is traditional before you play a deciding frame. Oh, man. I'm just looking at this red. Jack had a grimace, didn't he? Judd had a grimace. I think he's OK. I mean, the red goes in the middle, yes, but no way of getting on a colour. So John Higgins is not shirking his responsibilities. Clears a red away from the black spot. A sign of confidence. He wants one chance. Doesn't want a scrappy frame. <coughs> Judd could get this cue ball behind the green. It's always going to be tough to <laughs> sneak his opponent. I think he's done as well as he could have possibly expected. But John can go into the back of the pack here. Just if he doesn't like the shot, just dr drop into the back. It's a containing shot. Anything else was too risky. frames where the reds go up the other end of the table straight away it's awkward with that red between the green and the blue doesn't hof often happen these days does it then this players usually find a, a better path but if nobody wants to take the risk
always looking to try and get the cue ball tight. And there's a bit of daylight there between cue ball and top cushion. Be a big, oh, what's big he ball to take at? on. Surely there's not a three ball plant. He's had a look at it. Wow. Surely not. You're right. Doesn't look like there's enough separation from the original pack. Oh. It's not far off being on the way he looked at it. Mm. Oh, no, I think it just goes to the far jaw. I think he'll know more than me. He'll be f I think it just lined up for the far jaw and in playing the first red, it's just going to fractionally push the third red further to the far jaw. He wants to play something positive, but he may just as a player. What is, is he sorting out here? Oh, wow. Look where he's got the cue ball, though. Look at that. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't think it's the way that many players would have played, but it's he gave himself a chance at the pot, but no idea where the red was going. But the cue ball was good. Not, not absolutely safe. Jonathan's got one into the middle. he do now he's got the brown what a shot this would be to take on so here we go Bravo. key moment already in this decider that is brilliant that is brilliant under the circumstances <clears throat> did judge trump's aggressive safety five just open enough of a door He could have played less of a, an attacking Six. shot, but it's not his style. So first chance to John Higgins. Just. Ten. He hasn't had a look at the red into the... I was, I was right corner. I was thinking the same thing. He's dropped on that, but he hasn't yeah. even noticed He's it. He's not even noticed the red into the right corner. Why is he not? Surely he should be playing that one. Well, unless he's... Oh, well, this is the key shot coming up. If he yeah. gets the split on the reds correctly here, oh, he'll give himself at? a great chance. Was he just looking at the split? Straight into them. Oh, it's gone. It's gone wrong. He could have played that. 18. He could have played the red into the right corner, Dennis. I mean, he's I just, unlucky. Look at. I look know at, he's unlucky. Look yeah, I the know. Reds are. I mean. Yeah, I know. Anyway, he's still got the red into the green pocket. Bridging over the four reds. This is awkward, but I mean, what a shot this would be to pull off. Striking like that. Oh, it's there. Beautiful. It's right in the heart of the party. Nice. How brave. Both these players have been so brave tonight.
25. 26. OK, he's not ideally on the blue, so brown or green. the cue ball it looks to be perfect he's got the one to the left corner and what a chance this is 29 yeah John Higgins had eyes only on opening that pack of reds earlier but he may need to do a bit more to finish off the frame tricky positional shot coming up now He's hampered slightly again. If there's no red available into the left corner, he'd love the one to pot, but it doesn't. It's going to be bridging over a red again. And he's limited with the cue ball when you're striking like that. Well, I mean. That's it. He's just gone for the absolute throat here. This has just been amazing. Yeah, Judge shot it. It wasn't a reckless shot. He, he, he took the pot on, but he got a really good cue ball. I mean, the red that yeah. John cut in to get in was very difficult indeed. Yeah, it just wasn't a good, a good enough cue ball. He, he had other safety shots, but he was trying to get in first. If he'd have knocked it in, we'd have all been raving about it. John Higgins, a little bit out of position, but you'd still expect him to pot this medium range Forty. red. Would like to stun it in, but may have to play the slower role. Perhaps can play the stun run through. Got a flick on the pink and he's missed. Oh, he's got lucky. John Higgins, 43. Well, Judd Trump's got to be happy that he's missed a shot. Even one of the greatest pressure players in the game under these circumstances can miss. Is Judd tempted by a red into the right green pocket, into the green pocket? Don't think it's the right shot now. He left John Higgins only one red to hit. But if he doesn't fancy the pot, he looks to have a very easy safety shot on. But just coming down to check if the cue ball goes into the right corner area, if it's perfectly safe. That shot, 43 points behind. He needed the black in play. Now it's a, an open table, so Judd now knows one mistake from John, and they're sitting very nicely indeed. But will he get a chance? That's the question. Well, he 
he's had a little bit of a flick there that I don't think he can get through to one of these reds to take on. He's having a long, hard look because if he can see enough of it, and it doesn't look as if he can. He was looking at the long straight red, but he's got another red that he can play with such Q power, he can screw back to safety. It's the red second on the left of the table as we look. Well, there's no easy safety shot on. No. So. I think he'd be playing the pot and trying to screw back to safety. Now I can do both of those reds go? Perhaps he could play the he's playing the, the nearer of the two that are together. Yeah, they both go, so he could choose. I like the screw back to safety better, but Judge perhaps looking if he can just play a shot to nothing and also improve his chances. Great try. Didn't really get the screw back though. Where's this red going? Wow. As he got away with it. John Higgins must take this pot on. Not risking the one down the right side, but he knows this one goes to the left. A little bit more element of safety taking this one. But it's safely in the pocket. One. Boy, does he pot some balls under pressure. And he's on the green. Ooh. Thought he was playing a screw back there, ended up sort of going forwards a bit. Oh, good shot. It just sounded a little bit yeah. funny, but he's dropped oh. in a good position. I know what you were thinking, Stephen, but like he was hitting lower than that. Well, that wobbled its way in. Five. Have a look at this one. I might need to play a cannon to stop the white from slipping up the table here. But if he can get this delicate little cannon and pop the black. No, didn't want to risk the cannon. So he's got a, a more awkward red. He's 55 in front. He's not that many more pots away from a place in his eighth semi-final, where we go down to one table, a four times winner. Oh, that's perfect. It's in. That could be the shot that gets him through to the semi-final. Well, it's a great match to win, and it's a heartbreaker to lose, it has to be said. 80. Nothing you can do now. Judd Trump has played superbly well. We That's what it means to this likable Scott here. 26. 27. Judd almost beat John Higgins in 2011, lost in a fantastic final, and he's lost here in probably the best, without doubt, the best match in this year's Betfred World Championship. But what 33. a class act John Higgins is. 34.
41. He didn't even try the pot. Judd Trumbull came forward. That's a lot. Smile from both players. Isn't that nice to see? They have given us an unbelievable quarterfinal here. And the Crucible crowd are all on their feet. To give these two players a standing ovation for a fabulous match. Unlucky to Judd Trump, but in the end, John Higgins proved to be a class act again, and he goes through to the semi-final by 13 frames to 12.